today I'm going to share with you the top three products that I sell the most of in my boudoir business. Why it's only three options that I offer and how the psychology behind choosing your product offerings can be a huge impact on your profits. and I'm a boudoir photographer myself and business and marketing mentor helping photographers turn their passion into profits. On this channel, I share tips, tricks, and hacks to having a wildly successful and profitable photography business. If you are new to IPS, in-person sales, or you're just building your photography business, the endless number of print product options and the ever-growing number of vendors out there for us photographers can really be overwhelming. So what products should you offer to your photography clients? I've been asked this question a million times and so I wanted to hop on here and give you guys a little clarity about what I do and why I offer what I offer. So if you don't listen any further or you only get one thing from this video, let it be this. When choosing your product offerings, keep it stupid simple. I can't tell you enough, keep it stupid simple. You don't wanna overwhelm your clients with too many options. Too many options create confusion and indecision and anytime we feel confused and overwhelmed, we automatically just say no thank you and we retreat. Just think about when you've been in a situation like that. So there is a lot of psychology that goes into choosing your products. Surprise, surprise, if you guys have been following me for long or watching my videos, you know how important psychology is in your business. As an artist printing and displaying your artwork in ways that speak to you specifically makes sense. But when you take your artwork and you turn it into a service-based business, you have to get into the mind of your ideal client and really understand how they will be using your images and what they personally will value most. I've been saying it over and over, but we live in a digital age. No longer are we carrying printed wallets of our kids or significant others or our family in our wallets. We now actually carry a digital wallet around with us. So digital images are of extreme value to our clients these days, and as photographers, we must recognize this and adjust our offerings accordingly. I learned the psychology behind this specific product, digital images, purely by experience and by paying attention. Um, I used to send my clients one or two sneak peeks with a watermark before their reveal, and then I started seeing a pattern when clients came in for their reveals. Um, they would skip over the images that I had sent as a sneak peek, often saying, oh, I already have that one. After the third time of this happening, I finally realized, one, it's a low-res image with watermark, and they don't care. Um, two, I was losing $100 to $200 every time I sent a sneak peek, so I stopped doing that. <laughs> but this is when I learned the true value of digital images. So digital images are one of my top three products that I sell. And to be honest, I'm now super excited when a client only wants digital images as that means less work for me, which also typically means more profit. So yep, digital images can be your most profitable product if you know how to properly set up your pricing. So shoot and burn is actually a really good business structure if you know what you're doing and you know how to price it. If you're interested in pricing for profit and learning how to do that, I do have a two hour online training dedicated to walking you step by step through customizing your pricing for your specific needs and goals. So I'll link that below in case you guys are interested and see you can see the details and see if that's a fit for you. So albums are another one of my top three products. 85% of my clients gift their boudoir photos to a significant other and they love giving a gorgeous album. 99% of my brides actually give an album as their groom's gift. So albums by far are one of the top items for boudoir photographers to sell and have access to. I've been asked about folio boxes, but to be honest, they're just heavy. Um, they're not as easily gone through and people just don't really want to typically display them on easels. So I've just found for boudoir that folio boxes aren't really the best option. 
there are a ton of album options out there so I know it can be overwhelming, but ask for recommendations from people who are already offering albums, do your own research, and order studio samples to find the right one for you. I'll post my link to my vendor list below for some of the most popular vendors. I personally use Pacific Albums from Bay Photo. They are amazing quality, have the thickest pages of any other album slash vendors that I've seen, and the customer service at Bay from my very first order over seven years ago to now literally still blows me away. I'm very, very loyal when customer service is on point. So if you guys want a coupon for ordering from them, comment below and I will hook you up. Uh, another thing that I've done is I've gone to WPPI almost every year just to look at all the album options, um, just to see if I'm missing anything, but Bay is still by far my favorite for quality and price. But other photographers I coach and mentor also love Miller's, Floricolor, and Fineo. All right, my final top product is my customer favorites package. While I do offer wall art on my a la carte pricing menu, along with digital images and albums, they, there are a good percentage of clients who want to keep their images more private and not display them on the wall. So while I offer wall art, it's not one of my top three products. So my customer favorites package is the only package that I offer and it's what most people want and what they end up buying because I have it priced so strategically that it is literally a no brainer deal if the client wants more than just one product. Once again, I go over and dive into the psychology behind my magical unicorn pricing structure, as one of my clients calls it, in Pricing for Profit 102, and I give you the pricing menu that you can customize for yourself. It is probably single-handedly the number one thing that my coaching clients change when they start working with me that literally makes them thousands of dollars more per month immediately. So in addition to, of course, getting them a steady stream of qualified client inquiries, but it is amazing side note on wall art to keep it stupid simple like we talked about earlier if you absolutely want to offer more than one wall art option don't separate all the options out on your pricing menu and price them differently most wall art options such as gallery canvases acrylics metal wood etc are typically all very close in price across most vendors so typically the hard costs for you are fairly close. One trick to keeping it stupid simple is to just have a wall art option on your pricing list that lists all the sizes and prices and then all the client has to do is choose which wall art type they want. This keeps them from comparing sizing and pricing and justifying or negotiating in their mind between their wants and their budget. So you just took what could have been a super complicated decision and simplified it for your client. So those are the top three products I sell to my boudoir clients, digital images, albums, and my customer favorite package. When you truly understand the why and the psychology behind your products and pricing, your confidence levels as a photographer skyrocket, allowing you to come off as a confident professional instead of an unsure, desperate, starving artist. And this shift in energy will completely change your business. Okay, that's probably a subject for another video, but definitely let me know if you found this video helpful. Does it give you some clarity on how to choose your products for your boudoir photography business? If so, hit the like button, let me know, and as always, make sure to subscribe to get notified when I release new photography business hacking videos every week. See you guys in the next video.